Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blungo.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a custom module in Soho CRM. Let's start. Alright, let me go over what we're going to do today. As you know, Soho CRM already has some existing modules, for example, the leads module, the contacts module, accounts, deals, etc. But today we're going to add a new module and we're going to call it a review module. And this module is going to allow us to track when a customer leaves a review. And of course, the new module has to be related to the contact. So I have this graphic right here that shows how this is going to work. We have the contacts module and when a contact leaves a review, then we're going to create a new entry in the reviews module. And as you can see here, the reviews module and the contacts module are related, meaning that you're going to be able to see the reviews from the contacts and the contacts from the reviews. All right, now let's go to Soho CRM and this is the setup page. So we're going to create a new module here. We're going to go to modules and fields under customization. And here we can see the list of modules that we have available. But to create a new one, we're going to use this button where it says new module. And here we can edit our module. So first we're going to add a name. All right, let's click on done. And now let's add and delete some fields of the module. So first I'm going to turn off the image. And now I'm going to remove some fields that I'm not going to need. Like for example, currency, exchange rate number, or even email opt out. All right, so like I said, this module is going to be related to the contacts module. And to do that, we need to add a lookup field. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. A name is going to be a related contact. And the lookup module is going to be contacts. And then a related list title is going to be reviews. You will see what this means in a minute when I show you how it works. All right, let's click on done. And now let's add a new section. And we're going to put a name. And in this section, we're going to add all the information about the review that the customer left. So we're going to do a number. And we're going to call it stars, meaning how many stars the review was. Normally it's between one and five. And then we're going to add a multi line. And this is going to be the review itself. And finally, we're going to add a pick list. And we're going to call it platform. And the options are going to be Google and Yelp. All right, click on done. And we are ready to save this module. But if you're creating a different one, you can add as many fields as you want. I'm going to go ahead and click on save and close. And here I'm going to add the modules permission. So in this case, I'm going to also add the standard profile and click on save. All right, we already created a reviews module and now we're going to test it. To do that, I already have a contact open up here and I'm going to refresh the page. So the new module loads. And now here on related lists, you can see that the last one, the last list is reviews. So if I click here, I can see that the reviews related list is here. So now I'm going to add a new review. I'm going to click on new and I'm going to type a name. And on stars, we're going to put five and the review is. And the company is going to be Google. Now let's click on save. And now we have the review right here. And to customize the view, we can click on this button. And for example, we can select stars, platform, and review, and unselect email. And we're going to click on save. And now we can see that the review has five stars, the platform is Google, and the review was great company. To open the reviews module, you can click up here where it says reviews, or if you didn't see it there, you can click on these three dots and it will be here in this list. So I'm going to click here. And right now we only have one review is the one that we just added, but all the reviews would be here. And you can also customize the columns by clicking here and then manage columns and select the ones that you want to see. For example, the stars and the platform. I'm going to remove email. Click on save. 
and now we can see all the information here. To create a review from this panel, you can click here where it says create a review and fill out all the fields. The only difference is that you're going to have to select a contact that is related to this review here. All right, the last thing I wanted to show you is this slide that I have up here and it is about automations. For example, we can send a review email automatically to our customers asking them to leave a review. And at the same time, we can create automatically the entry in the review module. Then if the customer leaves a review, the only thing that you have to do is edit the entry and add the new review, but the rest of the information is going to be there for you. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I also have other videos about Soho CRM in this channel, so feel free to check them out. Thanks for watching.